Hey everybody, welcome back to Quality Time. So, into the news, I guess the first thing is that I'm having a lot of hard drive problems. Well, not quite problems so much as insufficiencies, I guess might be the phrase. Um, I have a terabyte scale hard drive, one terabyte, that's not terribly much now, but it was quite big not too long ago, which serves as both my video archive and where all the raw footage goes. And the files for haunting are so big that they've actually managed to drain it down to about 20 gig, which is more or less one video, depending on which series you're talking about. So, currently I am in dire need of a bigger hard drive, or at least an additional hard drive, so at least the archive isn't on the same drive, but yeah. So that's what's currently going on with me. Um, this is slowing things down because I can't film new stuff for the most part until I've dealt with that, so... I'm having to get things off of the drive, which might mean that the uh, haunting behind the scenes starts to air before the final episode, we'll see. Um, it is naturally stalling my capacities to make episode 5, so need to get that fixed sorting very soon. Other thing is that the Patreon is going to be seeing a little bit of a restructuring, so some things will be moving around, other things will be added, and that's hopefully happening in the course of the next week. I'll be having a video update on the Patreon itself uh, to explain what's going on. Uh, shouldn't be too controversial, I think. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make it so that more or less the people on lower tiers get new va get additional value for their pledge, and people on the higher tiers get something more deserving of the value they're putting in. So it shouldn't be too negatively received, but of course, let me know if uh, the ultimate uh, conclusion on that changeover is somehow bad or flawed. I'm always open to suggestions on this. Uh, the other piece of news that we have is that we finally managed to get a couple, uh, a couple unfairly criminally prosecuted friends out of gay baby jail. So, a while ago, Fuzz and I uh, were involved in, I think it was a Kickstarter or a fun drive, I forget exactly the definition, um, for Tasty Peach Studios, who are most well known for their meow cheese. These meow cheese in particular are huge. <laughs> this is the Inari Kitsune, who has two tails, eat of a bell, and they shake whenever you whenever you switch the ears and whatnot, which is cute. But yes, huge. That is not perspective. That is like, yeah, bigger than my head, almost about as big as my entire torso. Still smaller than Snorlax, but uh, cute nonetheless. And Fuzz got the uh, Manaki Neko, who is black and gold and has a bell around her around their collar, uh, which is. Currently in the living room, but uh, Inari Kitsune is keeping me company in here for now. Very cute. Anyways, that is it for now, so on to the schedule. On Thursday night, 11pm BST, it's more Midnight Souls, as we are probably killing a boss. Question is how often do we die in the process, I guess. On Saturday, it's more of the coaster at 9pm BST, where we're taking into more Overwatch competitive mode. Very, very gradually climbing upwards towards gold. Can we make it before the end of the month? Lastly, on Tuesday, it's more Yog Dwarves Live at 9pm BST. Last time we managed to get an imbued tankard running. What can we get going next time? And videos you might have missed for this week. We have an episode of Edgington where work continues on the boulevard as I contemplate the lack of wildlife, and I spin the clock back a bit to wonder about the value of retrospectives. And we also have the second episode of Re-Revolution, our new Factorio series, where I plan some big structures to get off the deserted planet as soon as possible. My AI parole officer provides biting commentary. Hand on to the questions. So, as always, these are drawn from the comment section of the preceding vlog. If you leave a question down below in the comment section, then maybe we'll get answered next week. Our first question of the day comes from Morgan Sabriel. What's your favorite roleplay so far? Hmm, Yokai Temple was really calm and nice to play with. Uh, a lot of people will say, will, will, will want me to say uh, Witch in the Woods, um, but Night of Fangs was a lot of fun as well. It was a lot of stress, but it was a lot of fun. And the Haunting and Return, the specials are always a lot of, 
a lot of fun, a lot of a lot more stress and a lot more hassle, but a lot of fun. Uh, overall, I think thus far I'm gonna say Yokai Temple because it was just a nice place to be. And our second question comes from Jacob Weberill. You used to get over a thousand views and now only get barely 100. What changed? Uh, firstly, a little bit of record setting there. Um, I have never gotten a hundred views in a week, maybe even a month, let alone a day. So that's that that's that's a distorted history there but uh what i do have is a number of videos that got a lot of press and are very old so they have sort of just accumulated over a thousand views over time and that's just the way that numbers work more or less um the other thing is that most of my bigger series uh were on very active and relatively large servers that don't really exist anymore. Uh, you can probably name a handful at most now, whereas more or less everybody had one flying around somewhere back in the day. Uh, of the Chaosville series, I think only a handful of people are actually still making videos, let alone making gaming videos or Minecraft videos. Um, the ones that come to mind are Tyser X, who is still doing Minecraft videos. He turned up in Chaos World Season 2. Uh, LD Shadow Lady, she's still making videos. Uh, Dave Chaos has a gaming channel, but he's mostly doing uh, tinkering and such. Uh, create, like, making kind of stuff nowadays. Uh, Kieran Dave still does stuff, but it's mostly that they're into live streams. And Dragon Mix. Uh, Minecraft videos and other stuff, and and then there's just just me. So for the majority, Chaosville couldn't really happen again because most of the people just aren't around anymore. And it's just sort of what happens over time. Uh, people get big important jobs. Scar is a surgeon. Uh, VG Toolbox were able to collaborate because they work together. So. They don't anymore, so consequently they can't collaborate quite as well. Uh, Delta Squid, I think, closed their doors after a long sort of lethargy period, and Nipty is as elusive as ever, so things just sort of... people drifted, I guess, over time there. And even then, ultimately, YouTube's changed a lot since, like, the days of Chaosville and stuff, uh, and just the old content style doesn't really work nearly as well, or reliably at the very least, because basically people have done it a lot. There's been so much of a certain style of content that it's become unentertaining, unappealing. Um, you need to sort of innovate and experiment and change things rather than just make the same thing for the thousandth time. It's not really... I guess economic viable might be the phrase. Um, and even if it worked, even if getting thousands upon thousands upon thousands of viewers on a single video or, a or even like a couple hundred on a reliable basis was like uh, easy or achievable or attainable, um, it's not actually that meaningful of a thing now because YouTube's ad revenue has just gotten lower and lower and lower and lower, and the number of views that you need to actually make a decent profit off of a given video has just climbed almost exponentially. It would take an extremely large number of views to actually uh, make it worth me having ads on my videos again, because uh, I turned them off when I started Patreon, because Patreon is much more reliable in that regard. And... Consequently, you can't really use views as a metric for how successful, if you want to call it that, a channel is anymore. So, I don't mind that I get maybe a hundred video, a hundred views on a video. That's not really like what I'm out to do. I'm out to entertain my audience, and that kind of bleeds. Yeah, that kind of bleeds into Chronicler Rolfram's question here. Which is, how does it feel to live off Patreon and Twitch over a more standard profession? In a standard profession, you'd be receiving your paycheck from one person. Well, on Patreon, I currently have, at the time of this recording, 27 patrons. And I'm not quite up to the point where I'm making UK minimum wage on that, but nonetheless, I'm making a wage, I'm making a living, and it's actually more or less all I need. I don't need to go and get an actual full-time job doing anything else. Not that I could in this market. Um, and how does it feel? Well, firstly, 27 is fairly small, actually. Um, there's 27 people, the bulk of them are chipping in about 15 US dollars a month, and that pays a wage. 
Moreover, those people are free to change how much they put into it, so people have dropped it because of personal circumstances, uh, others have raised it because of some some increase in their uh, in their income and whatnot and feeling like I'm somehow like deserving of it. Um, how does it feel to live off of 27 people as opposed to one boss? Well, it's a lot harder to fire me, it's a lot harder to bankrupt me, um, by comparison at least, because you would probably need to cut- you would need to cut it off at the, at the access point, you need to kill my Patreon. Uh, good luck with that. Um, but the idea that my income isn't necessarily a stable number isn't magnificent, I have to say. Uh, it can go up, it might go down, whereas if you have, if I had a standard profession it would be a set value, but given raises and such. The fact that I'm not relying on- I'm not dependent upon one individual is certainly very nice. Uh, and... Overall, I think I like it. I think I like it. It's not for everyone, I'll grant that. Not everyone gets to do this, not everyone gets to have, like, a stable kind of income from this, but nonetheless, it's something I like. Um... Overall, I think it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it's good. I don't know exactly what response you're looking for on this question. Um... But that is it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll catch you all, as always, next time.